see what's happening here? Look, see there's nothing, not yet, but it will, see? That's what we're doing yoga. You want to be a yoga dog? Oh, say hi to everyone. Yeah, say hi, say I'm crazy. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Tina. I'm seeing you in a minute. All right, my friends. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hello. Hello. Hi, little cutie baby. Got your fur baby by you. Turn around, Tim. <laughs> He's ready to do doggy yoga. He's ready down to do his down, down dogs, his up dogs. Okay, shall we, my friends? I guess we got the core, yeah. the core today. <laughs> okay. Seriously, that's awesome. <laughs> that's spirit, Barb. Yes, <laughs> you love core. Okay, <laughs> you call her. I'm gonna meet. Katie, I can't hear you. I don't know if anyone else can. Okay, now? Can you hear I me now? You. I can hear All you right. now. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Um, okay. So I'm going to mute you now, Heather, and then hopefully... Okay. Still good? You got me? Can you see... Can you hear me, Barb? Will you give me a thumbs up? Barb? Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's do this, you guys. So let's start, let's start in, I'm going to say child's pose, actually. Let's start in child's pose today. So go ahead and just sit back in the child's pose. And I know for some people, child's pose is not comfortable. So if you're one of those people and you want to choose another position that's more comfortable, that's fine. So let's just take three great big breaths together in child's pose. So next time you inhale, <clears throat> feel up as big as you can. When you think you're full, see if there's an extra little sip you can find at the top. And then big sigh out your mouth, let it go. Oh. Do that a couple more times. So inhale, fill up. Take that moment of pause. Extra little sip, perhaps. And then when you're ready, side out your mouth. Do that one more time. So biggest inhale you've taken all day. <clears throat> all day long. And then big sigh out your mouth, let it go. Ha. Let's rise up to hands and knees. And let's start to move through some cat cows as we just drop into our ujjayi breath. So as you move through your cat cows, inhale to arch, exhale to round. And just shift gears into ujjayi breath. So I like to think of it as going from automatic to manual. It's like your breath happens automatically all the time. Now you're shifting it into manual. Well, I guess you're not shifting it, but <laughs> it's like you're using manual now. So you have the control, but it's a gentle control. It's a gentle effort. So yes, you are controlling your breath. You're deepening it. You're making it big and spacious, but you're not straining. You're not forcing anything. So after a few rounds of your cat cows, after you've settled into your ujjayi breath, just take it all the way back to your down dog. <clears throat> Give yourself a couple breaths, few breaths, just to walk out your dog, stretch to lengthen. 
Find a connection in your down dog to your center. As we prepare for this core class already, see if you can start to feel your center connect to your core, even just with your breath. Good job, you guys. Let's say one more big inhale into your down dog. And then look to the top of your mat and however you want to get there, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. And from your halfway lift, just stay here for a minute. Make sure your feet are at least hips width distance apart and all of your toes face forward. Bend your right knee a lot. Bring your right hand or your right fingertips to the ground and reach your left arm to the sky. So a little twist. See if you can get your left leg nice and straight. Stay rooted through the inner edge of your left foot and pull your left hip back. Right knee can be bent a lot. Breathe down into your belly and use your exhales to twist a little bit more. Take just one more round. <clears throat> End of your exhale, unwind and switch to the other side. So left knee can bend a lot, left hand on the ground or a block, right arm to the sky. Pull your right hip, draw your right hip back, but stay rooted through the inner edge of your right foot. Feel your big spacious breaths, move them all the way down into your low belly, low back. Exhale to twist a little bit further, one last round. End of your exhale, let it go. <clears throat> Just hang out for a moment in your fold, maybe ragdoll, maybe bounce or bob or sway a little bit. And then next time you breathe in, halfway lift one more time. Exhale, fold. Let's take it all the way up. Arms to the sky, big stretch at the top. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, arms reach up, breathe in. Slow dive all the way down into your fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, release and fold in. <laughs> Root through your feet, lead with your heart, rise up. Arms reach up, stretch tall. Hands to your heart center, exhale. All right, inhale, arms to the sky. Let's sit back as we exhale into a chair pose. Now from chair pose, we're going to twist. So very similarly to what we did in our forward fold. Right hand on the ground or a block, left arm to the sky. Both knees are bent a lot. Weight is in your heels. Sit back, use your core to work a twist from your center. Take about two more deep breaths. And then very end of your next exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale to a halfway lift, realigning through your spine. And then exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Getting right into our core work. Right hand is your foundation, side plank. Roll onto the baby toe at your right foot, left arm to the sky. If you want, you can, of course, come down to your right knee or your right forearm to modify. If your bottom knee is not on the ground, then focus on lifting your hips really high. Maybe take your left arm forward and lengthen your left side. Maybe even float your left leg up and see if you can lift your hips even higher. So push down through your fingertips. Use the strength in your right side oblique muscles. Take one more round. Plank or modify. So inhale at the top of your push up and push the ground away. Slowly lower down. Exhale. Let's find any back bend. So whatever would feel good to you, lift and open through your heart, through your front body. And then just meet in a tabletop once again. Tabletop, hands and knees. All right. So spread your fingers really wide and push down so you feel strong through your arms, your shoulders, even your pectoral muscles. Take your right arm forward and your left leg back for a spinal balance. So long, strong, powerful line of energy from front to back. Big inhale. And as you exhale, elbow to knee underneath you. Round and hollow out. Inhale, lengthen. Now listen. Exhale, zigzag. Right arm goes right, left leg goes left. Pull them up as high as you can. Reach as far as you can. One more round. And come back to center. Breathe in. 
Exhale, elbow to the knee one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower everything down. Let's take thread the needle with our left arm. So left arm out and up. And then thread it through. Come down to rest outside of shoulder, outside of the head, gently. And just use your breath to deepen the pose. You can explore if you want to. You can wrap your right arm behind, send your right leg out. Good job. Take about three more rounds in your thread the needle posture. And then if you do happen to have your right hand or your right knee lifted, bring them both back down. Next time you inhale, unthread your left arm and reach it out and up one more time. Left hand comes down. Downward facing dog pose. Ujjayi breath, fire it up. Take a great big inhale into your dog pose. Exhale, look forward, step or float, top of your space, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, let it go. From the press of your feet, take it all the way up, arms to the sky, and hands to your heart. Inhale, re-extend, arms reach up. And then sit back into your chair, feet, hips width distance apart, all of your toes face forward. We're gonna twist. This time, left hand to the ground or a block, right hand to the sky. Keep weight in both heels and see if you can pick up all of your toes and spread them apart. Breathe down into your belly to work your twist a little bit further. Reach your butt way back, lengthen through your spinal column. Take one or two more rounds, work your twist. End of your exhale, unwind into your forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back. You're in a plank. We're going to move into side plank. Left hand is base this time, right arm to the sky. If you want to come down to left forearm or left knee, totally fine. Lift your hips really, really, really high. Maybe right arm reaches forward and possibly right leg floats up. Make sure you're still breathing big, deep breaths. See if there's any more space, any more length, any more strength you can find one more round. And then plank or modify. Inhale at the top, push the ground away. Slowly lower, exhale. Curl open, peel your heart open, breathe in. Take your time, we'll meet in tabletop. All right, spread your fingers, push down, feel strong and stable in your tabletop. Left arm forward, right leg back this time. So long, strong, powerful line of energy. Make sure you're still pressing firmly through your right fingertips. Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, elbow to knee like you're moving through honey or molasses, slow motion. Inhale, re-extend. Zigzag with your exhale, left arm left, right leg right. Hold for a full round. See if you can lift higher, reach further. Bring it back. Spinal balance, reach forward and back. And as you exhale, one more time, elbow to knee. Lengthen out, breathe in. Set everything down as you exhale. Moving in to thread the needle with our right arm. So inhale, right arm out and up. And then thread it through. Reach, 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 and come down to rest gently. If there's any way you want to work this pose on this side, please feel free to do so. Big deep breaths. Take 
think about two or three more. If you happen to have your left hand or left knee lifted, bring them back to the earth. And then on an inhale, arms red, your right arm reach it all the way out, all the way up. Right hand back to the ground. And send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Walk it out here for a moment, find length. Feel into all that space inside of you. Big inhale into your dog pose. Gaze to the top of your mat. Step to toe or hop forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, bow, let it go. From the press of your feet all the way up, rise, arms to the sky. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, we're going to sit back into our chair again. And the same thing we've been doing, we'll twist right hand down, left arm up. So from our revolved chair, we're going to turn it into a revolved lunge. So left foot will stay rooted. And see if you can slowly and intentionally step your right toes to the back of your mat. So you're in a revolved lunge position now. Keep working your twist, squeeze through your inner thighs. Open through the left side of your heart. Take about two more deep breaths. End of your exhale, unwind. Pivot your back heel down. Rise up to a Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Left foot forward. Left toes face forward. Right toes face directly to the right. Reverse your warrior when you're ready. So front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back. Deep bend in your front knee as you lengthen through your left side. Breathe into your left waistline, rib cage, and feel the strength in your right side body. Your right side obliques are working to hold you here. Take one more with huge breath. And then come back to warrior two. Reach forward as far as you can, moving into side angle. Tip it over left. Elbow to left thigh or left hand to the ground or a block. Right arm can go up, right arm can reach forward. If you want to move into a half or a full bind, feel free. Take about two more breaths. Working your side angle, heart open, hips open, legs strong. If you would rather stay in side angle, that's fine with me. Otherwise, we're going to move into a balancing half moon. So keep everything open. And then gaze out in front of you, left hand on the block or the ground as your right leg floats up. Everything is open. Your back leg is strong. Your back foot is active like you're stomping it onto an invisible wall. Take about two more deep breaths. And then we're just going to meet in a forward fold at the top of our space. So nice and easy. However, you need to make that transition. Right foot comes down to the top of your mat, forward fold. You can give your left leg a little shake out if you want to. Find a halfway lift, realigning through your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank and pause in plank. Lower down to your forearms, forearm plank, elbows no wider than your shoulders, forearms parallel, palms face down, fingers spread wide, or you can make a tripod if you'd rather. So find your strength, draw your belly button in and up, push down through the belly of your forearms, feel the strength in your shoulder girdle, breathe, slow, steady breaths. Now from here, imagine there's a rope attached to your belly button, it starts to pull straight up towards the ceiling. So start to walk your toes in and lift your hips up, come into your dolphin pose. <sighs> dolphin pose, five deep breaths. If there's any way you want to explore or play, feel free. You can lift one leg, you can hop if you want to. If dolphin strut or any other variation is in your practice and you want to go there, go for it. Just lift your hips super, super high. Try not to let your head touch the ground. Take about two or three more rounds. Strong shoulders. 
Press your heart back. And in your next breath or two, you can go ahead and let it go. Just come down to your knees and sit back and rest in your child's pose or your embryo pose. So let your shoulders relax now. Maybe a couple open mouth sighs would even feel really nice. Oh. All right, downward facing dog. Inhale into your dog pose. Exhale, look to the top of your mat, however you want to get there. Forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Press into your feet, lead with your heart rise. Arms reach up, big stretch. And hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, reach. Chair pose, sit back, weight in your heels, feet hips with distance, all of your toes face forward. Let's twist, left hand down, right arm up. So lengthen through your spine, weight, especially in your heels. So more in your heels, less in your toes. Maybe even pick up your toes and spread them. So find your breath, find your connection to center. Root down firmly through your right foot. Right foot stays where it's at. Step your left foot all the way back. You'll be in a revolved lunge. You can take a moment to adjust your legs if needed. Couple more breaths in your twisted lunge. So again, with your inner thighs, connect to your center. Back legs strong and powerful. One last inhale. Stay for your exhale. Twist a little further. End of your exhale, unwind, pivot your back heel down, and rise to a warrior two. Vira Bhadrasana two, right toes face directly forward and left toes face directly to the left. Let's reverse. Front palm rotates up. Reach up, reach back, keep that deep bend in your front knee, lengthen through your right side body. So right side nice and long, space between your ribs. Breathe into your waistline. Good job. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, side angle. So come through warrior two. Reach forward and then right elbow to right thigh. Maybe right hand to the ground or a block. Left arm up or left arm forward or half or full bind if you want to go there. Hips stay nice and open. Heart stays nice and open. Couple more rounds and then we're moving into our balance. Do you want to stay here instead? That's totally fine with me. So if you're getting ready for your half moon, gaze out in front of your right foot. You can use your hand. Maybe you want to even use a block under your hand. Reach forward and float your back foot off the ground. Back leg strong and powerful. It's like you're karate kicking with your back leg and got frozen in space. So make it strong. Hips open, heart open, shoulders open. Slow, deep, powerful breaths. We'll meet in a forward fold eventually. So give it a couple more rounds, working your pose. Woo. And then however you need to make your own transition, top of your space, nice and easy, forward fold. You can give your right leg a nice little shake out if it would feel good. And let's come into a tiny little potato bug ball this time. So bring your big toes together, little gap in between your heels, tuck and curl. Curl up and get small and compact. Maybe even wrap your arms around the fronts of your shins. Take one more big deep breath. Come back to a halfway lift. Heels down, spine long. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your feet back, plank. One arm at a time, strong through your core as you lower down to your forearms again. Forearm plank. So be in your forearm plank for a moment. Find your connection to center. Find the stability through your shoulders. Breathe. 
So you're using lots of strength. See if you can find a little softness and sweetness. Soften your face. Unclench your jaw. Imagine that rope now. It's pulling up on your belly button. Start to walk your toes in and lift your hips up. Dolphin pose. You can bend your knees a lot. I'm all the way up on my tiptoes to get my hips higher and my core to engage. So do what you got to do. Try to be efficient in your body. Take about three more deep breaths, three or four more. You can play if you want. You can take one leg up. You can hop. If you're holding dolphin, try to press your chest, your heart towards the back of your mat. Don't let your elbows drift apart. One last huge breath. And then come on down, knees to the ground. Sit back and rest. Breathe into your low back, low belly. Good job, friends. Downward facing dog. Okie dokie, from your down dog, left leg to the sky. Open up your left hip, so bend your knee and peel it open. Be here for a moment, just feel that nice stretch through the front of your right hip. See if you can, might be able to lift your right knee a little higher. Take one more inhale. You can stay here if you want to, otherwise exhale. Right knee, left elbow, or as close as you can come. Inhale back up, three-legged dog, open your hip if you'd like. Exhale, right knee, right armpit, as high as you can get on your right arm. Push the ground away. Inhale back up, three-legged. And then everybody this time, knee to your nose. Exhale, scoop out your belly and step forward. Rise up to crescent lunge. So strong legs, inner thighs hug in, little tone in your belly. Slow, deep breaths. So feel into your pose, feel into your legs, feel into your upper body, even into your fingers. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your front thigh, lean forward. If it helps, you can scoot your back foot a little closer. Preparing for warrior three. So as you're ready, root into right foot and lean forward more, float your back foot off the ground. Crown of your head is reaching forward like you're in a halfway lift with your spine. Back leg is reaching straight back, hips are square. If you want, add some arms. Arms out, arms back, arms forward. So one more huge breath here in warrior three. Then guess what? We're going into revolve half moon. Left hand on the ground or a block. See if you can start to twist your body. Open it up. So open through the right side of your heart. Reach your right hand towards the sky. Maybe even gaze up. Keep your back leg strong. Keep your inner thigh squeezing. Take one last huge breath in your revolved half moon. Low lunge. So land with your left toes at the back of your mat. And then we're gonna come into a wide-legged straddle position. Let's twist, right hand stays down, left arm to the sky. So twisting the other way. What might also feel good, you guys, if you want to, you can bend your back knee, your left knee, bring your right hand back a little bit. Just It just switches the way, or not switches, but it just shifts the way this pose feels and what you're getting out of it. So maybe your left knee is bent, maybe both legs are straight, up to you. Take this one more deep breath. And then guess what? Either variation you're in, this is where we're going. It's kind of funky. I think you guys know it though. So right foot lifts and you're gonna thread your right foot through your hand and your left foot. And then your butt comes down. So you're facing towards the back of your mat and we're moving into boat pose. If you didn't follow that, <laughs> Just come into boat pose facing towards the back of your mat. So balance on your sit bones rather than rocking back onto your tailbone. So for me, it helps if I grab the backs of my thighs like I'm doing now, then I can kind of play with getting that lift in my heart. You might reach your arms forward. You might even extend your legs if you're feeling crazy. 
Squeeze through your inner thighs. Hold here, breathe here. You can stay here or slowly see if you can just lower, but keep your navel drawing back towards your spine. So you're hovering, everything's squeezing, navel to spine, you might even get lower. Navel to spine, low back presses down. Everything squeezes towards midline, inner thighs squeeze in. And slowly lift back up to your high boat pose. Woo. Squeeze your inner thighs, lift your heart. Now listen, friends, you're going to twist to your right. Right hand comes down behind you, left foot comes down, and then flip over into a three-legged down dog, right leg to the sky, open your right hip again. And this time, if you want, option to flip, right foot comes down behind you, lift your heart, lift your hips, open through your front body. So after that boat pose, that abdominal work, now stretch your abdominal wall. One more round. And come back, downward facing dog, just walk it out. You can come straight down to child's pose or follow me, inhale, high plank or modified plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Back bend of your choice. I take an extra breath or two. And then child's pose it out for a moment. Hips to heels, forehead rest down. Ujjayi, reconnect if you've lost it. All right, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Peel your left hip open, so bend your knee, reach it out and up. This might feel really nice to stay here and just hold here. So if you wanna stay and hold and breathe here, awesome, otherwise, one more big inhale. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, as close as you can come. Inhale, three-legged dog, option to open your hip. Exhale, left to left, as high as you can get on your left arm. Inhale, back up. And then last one, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly and step forward softly. Crescent when you're ready, rise. So stability through your legs. Connect to the center. So draw your belly button back towards your spine. Feel the support that offers your low back. Heart is lifted. Slow deep breaths. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, bring your hands to your front thigh. So leaning forward just a bit. If it helps, back toes can scoop forward. And then whenever you're ready, Float your back foot off the ground. Halfway lift through your spinal column. So spine is really long, back leg's really strong. If you want, you can play with some arms, add some arms out to the sides, back, forward. So from here, moving into our revolved half moon, right hand to the ground or a block, start to work a twist. Try to keep your back leg lifted and powerful. Maybe your left arm reaches up. Maybe your left hand's at your left hip. Back leg strong, see if you can lift it higher. Keep pressing through the inner edge of your front foot. Twist from your center, last big breath, you got this. And then low lunge, slowly land. Right toes step to the back of your mat and walk your hands over to the right long edge of your mat. So you're in a wide-legged straddle. Halfway lift, inhale. Left hand on the ground, right arm to the sky, twist. And if you want to, you can bend your back knee, your right knee, bring your left hand towards the back edge of your mat a little bit more, and then same thing, just twisting, opening through the right side of your heart. All right, and then we have our super fun, cool ninja move. So from your twist, left hand and right foot stay on the ground. 
pick up your left foot and thread it through that hole and then come down to sit on your butt facing towards the back of your mat boat pose again so you can stay and hold like we did before you can lower down to your low boat like we did before or i'm going to give you an option for some oblique work some twists so arms reach forward and you might even clasp your hands and steeple your index so like you're almost like you're shooting a gun all right inhale here and as you exhale twist to your right lower a little bit so you might extend your legs inhale come back up exhale twist to your left squeeze your inner thighs navel the spine inhale lift continue at your own pace exhale twist inhale lift oh it's so hard use your breath and if you need extra help maybe you just have your hands behind you you kind of work like this you still get a lot out of it that's what i'm going to do actually it's still really hard for me <laughs> so twisting it out breath by breath let's go for a three two one more on each side one and one okay boat pose Woo. right foot on the ground left hand comes down behind you so you're twisting to your left and then just wee. flip it back over left leg to the sky open your left hip and option to flip your dog left foot comes down now stretch through your front body stretch through the front of your hips breathe in all that space all right friends downward facing dog walk it out move through a vinyasa find your way to child's pose or just set your knees down and sit back into your child's pose Just breathe. Really nice job, you guys. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Whenever you are ready, pigeon pose, right shin to the top of your mat. Gently set your body down. If there's any way you want to explore, maybe you want to give your back quad a little stretch. Maybe there's some other way you want to be in your pigeon. Maybe you want a seated pigeon or even a supine pigeon. So feel free to take it however you need to for your own body today. Your regular pigeon, eventually bow forward and just focus on your big deep breaths. Think about five more rounds. Your last couple, if you want to, side out. Oh. And then start to lift your upper body. We're going to find our way into a seated position. So lift up and just ease your 
way over onto your right butt cheek. You can let your hips open, swing your left leg around. Give both legs a little shake out in front of you. And then keep your right leg extended. Bring the sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do right now. Just watch and then we'll do it together. So we're gonna flow between these two poses. So left hand behind, we're gonna lift our hips as we inhale. And then as we exhale, our sit bones come down and we're going to almost like a ninja again. It's like, ooh, sweep forward, grab hold of your foot or your ankle wherever you can reach. Fold as you exhale all the way to empty. And then inhale, coming back through that, lifting, okay? So that's where we're going. Maybe you were doing it with me already. So we got this. Sole of left foot, right inner thigh, right leg extended, left hand behind you, right arm up. And inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, sit bones down, sweep your arms around, grab your right foot, fold. Inhale, bring it back into your modified wild thing or your modified side plank. Exhale, fold. Use that exhale, navel the spine. Again, inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, back and up. This is our last one. We're going to hold in our fold this time. So as you exhale, set your sit bones back on the ground. Sweep your arms around. Left hand grabs right foot. Fold forehead towards shin, nose toward knee, navel towards spine, and stay here for a few rounds. I've got my right hand on the ground behind me. I kind of use it to propel my upper body forward. Pull your right butt cheek back as you reach your heart forward and bow. Take about three more deep breaths. Good job, friends. End of your next exhalation. Just roll, 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 roll up slowly. Head is the very last thing to lift. And then once your head lifts, take your left leg out next to right leg. You can lean back for a second to shake out your legs. And then we're going to take a few rounds of windshield wipers. So feet nice and wide. The wider, the better. Side to side. And you possibly might even kind of work your shoulders the opposite direction of your legs. Take your gaze the opposite direction of your legs. All right, let's bring it back to center. We'll meet in a down dog. So you can get there however you want to. If you'd like, maybe one more boat pose since we're on a roll. <laughs> Boat we'll pose it out for as long as you want. Eventually, cross your ankles, rock forward. You can step or jump back to chaturanga with bent elbows. Move to vinyasa or skip it. We'll see you back in downward facing dog. Reconnect to your ujjayi breath. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, pigeon pose, left shin, top of your mat. Gently bring your body down. Set yourself up. So left butt cheek is pulling back as your heart goes forward and down. If you want to work anything, any other variations, feel free. Take about five more rounds. Mm -hmm. 
Big deep breaths. Cool. With your last couple, if you want, big open mouth sigh. Ah. And let's slowly start our transition into a seat. So lift back up. And over onto your left butt cheek. You can let your hips open as you swing your right leg around. And then both legs out in front for just a second. Shake them out. This time you know where we're going, so I'm not going to explain. We're just going to go right into it. So the right foot to left inner thigh. Kind of let your hips open towards the long edge of your mat. And then right hand behind you, fingers squeeze away from your body. Left arm up. Inhale, push down and lift your hips. Exhale, sit bones to the ground. Sweep your arms around. Grab your left leg, your foot, and fold. Inhale, sweep it back up. Lift and open. Exhale. Reach forward and fold. Empty all the way out. Again, just like that. Low with breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Empty out. Inhale, lift. This is our last time. Open through the front of your heart if you can. The modified wild thing. And then exhale, sit bones come down. Sweep your arms around. Heart reaches forward and bow deeply. Work your fold breath by breath. Try to pull your left hip back as you reach your heart forward. Imagine you're trying to reach your heart past your left knee. It won't happen, but have that intention. Flex your toes back. Slow, spacious breaths. About two or three more. And then very, very end of your next exhale, just super, super slow, roll up. Head is the very last thing to lift and stack. Bring your right leg out in front of you, so both legs forward, shake them out again. Make sure you have plenty of space behind you, so if you need to, you can scoot forward on your mat. Reach your arms forward. Imagine you've got a big mermaid tail. Squeeze your legs together. Hollow out your belly. And as slow as possible, try not to let your legs lift. Super slowly. One vertebra. Ooh, at a time. Calm down. Arms eventually reach overhead. Full body stretch. <sighs> and as you stretch, you might even reach one hand, then the other hand, almost like you're climbing an invisible rope above your head. Trying to drag yourself. <sighs> All right, feet to the ground with knees bent, arms by your sides. Setting up for bridge, so feet hips width distance, all of your toes face forward. Exhale, pull your belly button down, scoop your tailbone up, posterior pelvic tilt. Inhale, peel your spine off of your mat. Once you get to the top, we're going to hold for five breaths. You can do whatever you want for those five breaths. Maybe you want to interlace your fingers, maybe you want to robot your arms. Maybe you want a supported bridge. Maybe you're feeling a full back bend. So if that's in your practice and you're wanting to go there, go for it. You're with me in bridge. Feet are rooted firmly, especially heels and the inner edges of your feet. Maybe even pick up your toes and spread them. Press down through the back of your head. Hug in with your inner thighs. Breathe into low belly. Breathe all the way down into the front of your hips. Take about two more rounds in your bridge or in your heart opener. You can get out of it however you want to, but try to do it mindfully. If you want to come with me, I'm just going to work my shoulders out first, but stay in my bridge and then take my arms straight up towards the ceiling. Reach up. Keep reaching up as you slowly, slowly, slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. And then once you're back in a neutral spine position, tee out your arms. Bring your feet out nice and wide, width of your mat, the wider the better. Windshield wiper side to side. 
Really work that top leg. So your top leg, as your knees fall to one side, reach your top knee forward and down. And after a few rounds of these, happy baby pose. Whenever you're ready, just reach for your feet. If you can, grab feet, ankles, shins, backs of thighs. Just give it a little rock from side to side. Flex your toes back. If you want, you can extend one leg and then the other and both. And if there are any more poses, any more stretches, any last little movements you want to take, go ahead and move through those. If you didn't get enough core work, you can do a, you can do a few sit-ups or something. <laughs> And then as you're ready to start your own transition into your final relaxation. So as you settle in, friends, and no rush, but as you settle in, just let your breath become effortless now. So you have been in manual, go back to automatic. Let your body take over. Let your body just breathe you. And eventually just let every part of your body give in. Let every part of your body be held by the ground underneath you. And if you'd like to give yourself, just to kind of drop into your Shavasana, you might give yourself one great big huge falling out breath. <sighs> and I can't remember if I read this to you last month, you guys, but I love this poem and I'm going to even if I read it before, I'm going to read it again. It makes me cry. <laughs> it's by Rainer Maria Rilke. God speaks to each of us as he makes us, then walks with us silently out of the night. These are the words we dimly hear. You, sent out beyond your recall, go to the limits of your longing, Embody me, flare up like a flame and make big shadows I can move in. Let everything happen to you, beauty and terror. Just keep going. No feeling is final. Don't let yourself lose me. Nearby is a country they call life. You will know it by its seriousness. Give me your hand. Give yourself these next few moments to just rest and to feel yourself, feel your body, feel your inner world. I'll bring you out of Shavasana in just a few.
Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Ha. And just slowly, gently start to bring movement back into your physical body. As you feel ready, roll to either side, fetal position. As you rest on your side for just one last moment, I'm going to read you that poem one more time. Let it really sink in. God speaks to each of us as he makes us, then walks with us silently out of the night. These are the words we dimly hear. You, sent out beyond your recall, go to the limits of your longing. Embody me. Flare up like a flame and make big shadows I can move in. Let everything happen to you, beauty and terror. Just keep going. No feeling is final. Don't let yourself lose me. Nearby is a country they call life. You will know it by its seriousness. Give me your hand. Guide yourself up into seated meditation. And we'll just close together by gathering our hands to our hearts. So no rush, but once you're sitting, hands to hearts, hands to heart, and just close your eyes and bow your head. And acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge yourself for showing up every single day of your life to be you, to do the things you got to do in the world. Acknowledge yourself for taking time out to slow down and tune back into your inner world. Connect back more intentionally to your true self. Thank you so, so much for letting me guide you. Namaste. Thank you. That was very hard. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad it was hard enough for you, Barb. It's very hard. Hard <laughs> because I couldn't balance. Well, I hope that you got your core work to fill you up until next time, at least. <laughs> I'm headed to Peru, you guys, on Thursday. So Kim has got Thursday. I think you'll have a sub on Tuesday, either Scott, probably, or Jenny, and mm -hmm. then Kim, and then I'll be back. I'll be back sometime. I get back on the 18th, so I'm gone for a while, but I'll be back. <laughs> Next time, come with. Katie, happy new year. Same to you. Thank, Thank you so much. much. You're welcome. Bye, you guys. Happy new year. Bye.